Hey oh, guys. There's another beautiful art. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's do it again. Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teacher Do. Today I have a returning Bianca. OMG, it's Tarzan Man. <laughs> no, well, not exactly. Now, last time we went over the Star Wars, we saw the original adaptation of the rough screenplay that George Lucas had done for Star Wars. This one, we're doing Planet of the Apes Visionaries, which adapts Rod Serling's original script for it. And this was a case where, well, back in the 60s, especially, you can see why this movie would never have been been able to have been shot back then. The way they look too good and they're not wearing costumes. <laughs> No, no, no. You'll see why. Oh, Rod Serling's one who wrote the book Twilight, right? No, no. He didn't he wrote the script adaptation of the book. Is he also the narrator? Uh, he's the narrator for you know he's okay. Rod Serling is the guy who created the Twilight Zone. So yes, he's the guy mm -hmm. who's saying you are entering another dimension. A dimension oh. of sight and sound. The, yes, that's the guy. And he and he's the one who did the script adaptation of the book. Oh, I thought he did wrote the book. Oh, no, he did not write the original book. The original book was a French writer. Ooh. But yeah, we open up with the original ship with the all of the astronauts on board. In this case, all men, no women. Racist. No, wait, that would be sexist. <laughs> As they're heading on in until they eventually crash land on a on a planet, or they not even crash. They just perfectly land on board. But when they do, um, are we, and where are we? We've malfunctioned. Somehow we're not in space. How could that be possible? If we went into orbit, everything would have, unless we didn't go into orbit. Unless we sprawled right in, sprawled right in where? Stuart? Stuart? Johnny, see, is Stuart all right? Nope. Much like the woman in the in the movie, he dead. Aww. It's not didn't work well. That did, it, and that did it right here. There was a leak or a, a, an air leak or something. Two years could a and could a man could someone turn into? How do we know it's two years? How do we? I know it's not. It isn't five hundred, five years, or ten, or a hundred. One thing went according to plan. The aging process stopped. We haven't changed, no matter how many years have gone by. It's like Rip Fran Weekle. All right, let's get down to business. And left and left left of her. Put up the antenna and try to contact Earth. Dodge, check the den and the density. We've got work to do. Johnny, there's absolutely no contact, no reception whatsoever. They go make their way out of there. Your density checked out with the and with that flare. What's the component reading? We can take off the suit. It's breathable. Is that the Big Dipper? Looks like a swastika. The star at the top. Earth a major. Alpha. It's move. There's no moon. There must have been some sort of some gigantic explosion that threw us off course. We're not on Earth. We're not and, and we're not where we started out from either. So they make their way out as they bury their friend and continue on over there until uh, Skipper? Over the, over there, something in the surf. Any ideas? We don't know where to begin. What the heck? The, all the warnings until they find um something in there, like Dropped by nature or thrown by man. It's something through the end of their ship. It's almost like they were guarding something, like a skirmish line. I think we better uh, bed down for the night. Like, and, but I don't like it out here in the open. Up until their ship gets into sucked down in the mud. Hey, well, pull them out of there. Like, there goes everything we own. Weapons, food, everything. We're going to have to get back to the ship. We're a good two ways, uh, uh, two days away on foot. We'll head back to the beach in the morning. Let's just get a fix on something. One lousy natural law to figure out where we are. It's not where we are, it's when we are. We should have awakened just before going into orbit. But something happened. God knows what. They're on their way to the beach. Don't look now. There's something or someone or something in those trees. Move over here, Dodge. Uh, very uh, slowly. Laugh for stay put. Let's make them move. Who's them? Woof, woof. How about it, Skipper? Are we running out of room? Just sit tight. Woof. They don't like our clothing. And they take they take it away. They're just wearing their shirts. Um, looks And look at their faces. Ever see anything like them? Yeah. Where? In a zoo. I hope to God this isn't the best we find. 
But yeah, they make their way through until look at the reaction. Zoom, zoom. My God, are those aircraft engines? Helicopters? Zip, 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 zip. Hey! Room. <laughs> and oh my God! Oh, doom! Dodge! Doom! Right in the neck. Uh, uh. All right, all the others get gunned down except for that one, the one guy. <laughs> all right, he's taken away as one like. Not a bit, not a bad bag. Wait, look at that. I've now I've seen everything. What do you suppose he got our clothes? He's still alive. Should I put the poor bees out of misery? Wait, this one might, and this might be a trained one who escaped. Might be worth a little extra. Throw him on the truck. Over here, boys. Put this one on the truck. Look at the clothes. Escape from a circus or something? Probably. Nurse, number three blade, please. I said shave its wound, not his whole, not the whole face. God, they're ugly. How are you today? Feeling better? You can't even growl, huh? They said you were probably an escaped circus animal or something. You gave our people quite a start out there. The trousers, probably. ka -ching. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, no. What is it? Hurts just a little bit, does it? Well, I, uh, we'll keep you on liquids, old timer, and we'll have that bandage off in a week or so. Here we are. Is this what you wanted? D can you come and get the sugar? Old timer. Because uh, you're on the older side compared to what they're used to. Mm. You know what we want, don't and don't we? Don't we? And do we want sugar? Hooga, hooga, hooga. And he's so upset seeing humanity like this. Takes it off like the uh, the one uh, the one on the end is po post operative, not feeding until tomorrow morning. Hooga, hooga, hooga. Like, like I can speak. Get the hose, get the hose. Bruh. Unfortunately, he scr it blasted off the water. How's the patient? This one's a humdinger. Come on, boy. Show Dr. Zero how smart you are. <laughs> Look at that. He thinks he's smart. Open this up, would you? Be careful with this one. You know how they are when they're wounded. Are you thirsty? Can you understand me? Uh, so, and much like in the movie, he writes something down. Or he tries to. That was your precious man, is it? That's him, Dr. Zayas. We're going to learn something from this one. There's something very odd about him. He, and he tried to kill one of the attendants. I'd say he runs from pretty close to four. He, under, he understands me. He understands me perfectly. Bah, I recall a case, human female, learned about 11 words. No understanding of language, per se. But any low, low form of animal with a modicum of intelligence. What is it? <clears throat> ugh, 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 ook, ook. There's an arrogance about that one I don't much care for. When he recuperates, we'll try to, in the removal of his prefrontal. Let's see how your human reacts to that. Feeding time. Okay, let's eat. Hey, watch those two. Hose them if you have to. You know, humans, keep them fed or keep them fighting. All right, let's round them up. And he snuck on board. <laughs> and now look at this. This is Ape City. Now, can you just see what? There was no way in hell they could have made this in, you know, back in the 60s. It was already expensive to do the first in the movie as it was. With just costumes? Costumes and all the sets and props, the statues. They weren't even good costumes. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? They were great costumes. What are you talking about? No. Back then with the original, those were amazing costumes. They kind of scared me because of how fake they were. Really? You really? Is that, you're talking about the one with with uh, Mark, Mark Wahlberg, right? No. Oh, there was one that came I before that? The 60s one. Oh, I didn't see the 60s ones. I I'm talking about the Charlton Heston one. I gotta see it. Yeah, this is the original, original, not the Tim Burton one. And trust me, that one though had just as much Tim incredible Burton? makeup as what? That's that was Tim Burton. That that the one the Mark Wahlberg was the Tim Burton one. Oh, I'm so disappointed in you, Tim. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, hey, to be fair though, the makeup on that one was, was just as good because the facial expressions they got out of it. 
They make well, Mark Wahlberg kiss one. Ew. That, ex- that was as co- they want, actually wanted there to be a relationship, but Fox told them no. Ew. And that was Helena Bottom Carter as that eight, by the way. What? That was Helena Bottom Carter as that ape you're talking about. I don't know who that is. You ever seen Harry Potter? Uh, some. The later ones. Maybe. She's Bellatrix. She's Bellatrix. The crazy um, evil sorceress. Uh, is she the one who wears the weird outfits? Yeah, the w- wild hair and everything. She's the one that killed um, 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 Harry's uncle. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same actress, same actress. Oh, nice. She must have been really young. But yeah, this is the original with Charlton Heston, Kim Hunter, Roddy McDowell. This is the one where you everyone said, said stuff like, take your damn hands off, your, your, your hands off me, you damn dirty ape. Mm. But it gets out and, um, but it, again, see about this, in the 60s, there's no way in hell they could have made everything like this. Nah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I get it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, they think he's a trained man. He's escaped from the lab, and they're raising um, bloody cane over it. Oh, so he's eventually taken away as all the others are treated like um, animals. Let's go, pants. You're going to be a good boy today. He's quiet today. Mana, mana. Ooga, ooga, ooga. Quiet down, you. Get the paw. Dr. Zira, what is it? Oh, I can speak. I'm a civilized man. I'm from another planet. Nice. Yep. I have no idea where the other two are if they survive. It's incredible without any kind of precedent. It's too much to believe. If we can find the other two, they can verify this, and according to you, they can speak. Mr. Digby, it's Dr. Zira at the lab on your last expedition into the Innerland. How many live men did you take? Let me ask you, were any of them peculiar... I mean, different in any way. I see. How old a creature was he? Well, I'd like to see that one. That would be Dodge or Lafier. Let me go with you. They head on over there, and... Can you speak for me? <laughs> Unfortunately, this one had some trouble. I uh, either fell on some rocks, or maybe another male tried to kill him. Good specimen, though. Oh. We're lucky it lived. Uh, it's my conclusion that the writing communication for the subject are suggestive of an intellectual, rational frame of reference. Dr. Zira, are we had to understand these notes were written with the knowledge of their content and the story he told. He's some sort of space traveler. They were a direct response to my question. He claims to be one of four astronauts from a planet called Earth. <laughs> and on Earth, the evolutionary process was in di- direct contrast to our own. First, there were apes, and from them came humans. You will forgive us, Dr. Zira, but you'll admit to seeing the humor in all this. You must share your joke with me, Doctor. I hear, I could hear the laughter out in front of the building. Nothing I've said this evening was meant to be funny. I left a transcript of my notes on your desk. I browsed through them, a remarkably well-trained animal. I'm afraid I must contradict you, Dr. Zayas. I cannot vouch for his story, but this is not a normal human being. I concur. His ra- rages, his uncontrolled bestiality sets him apart from even the most undeveloped man. You saw what he wrote. I saw what a trainer taught him to write. Within a week, when the subject regains his voice, I'll be in my office to accept your apology. If you're going downstairs to tuck your subject into a straw, I've had him transferred to the surgical wing. The surgical? Precisely. He is interesting. And for that reason, I think it'd be more beneficial that we utilize this subject, uh, Admiral's full subject. They basically want to um, dissect his bro- lobe. Oh, no. Oh, boy. No! Leave me alone! Huh? Where is he now? Outside. You brought him here? Cornelius, this is not an animal. This is an intelligent, civilized being. This is a man. He can utter some intellig- intelligible sounds. That's hardly... I want to take him in front of the scientific congress. It would be nothing more than a trained animal act. Let it be that. Like, will, and will you talk to him? And will you listen to him? And then make your decision? What do, and do, what do we do? Whistle? All right. Please come in, Mr. Thomas. Instead of Taylor... That was his name in that one. My fellow assembly members, a request has come in from Dr. Cornelius. 
Dr. Cornelius holds a chair in anthropology and does, and does so with great distinction. He has brought with him today a trained animal, Dr. Cornelius. This animal's name is Thomas. I'll let him handle his own demonstration. Juggles. What is this? On the planet Earth, where I come from, we call it juggling. And so I'm told, and, and so I'm told, do you. <gasps> I hope you will notice other similarities before I leave with you this afternoon. Because I am a product of a culture too. A civilization on a planet called Earth. On Earth, we've developed space travel, and after a, a journey of many years, I've landed here on your planet. On Earth, intellect is embodied in the human race, and apes apes have remained in a state of savagery. Are you sure you, you have no need to fear us? And I hope we have no need to fear you. I will, over the next few weeks, tell you of my planet. Thank you for letting me address you today. We have, I believe, opened a new chapter in the history of the universe. Mr. Thomas, what is the nature of your arrival on our planet? Our ship landed automatically. We've been told you're reluctant to devolve your landing, the precise point of your landing. What is the proof of your origin? Are you holding back? Pop, 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 pop. Doctor, the man has redeem, re redeemed himself admirably. A an act of pro providence, he spoke when he did. We have never and never have known. Never have known that he was a civilized being, a rational being, that he is our equal. I hope only our equal. He's too much. He's told us much of Earth. It's pre null wars. It's violence. God help us if he's our superior. So, yeah. And, and basically, again, you look at this stuff. It makes sense. And this works in a story. But, again, there's no way in hell they could have filmed this. No. <laughs> there's absolutely no way. Think about this. All these apes and everything. What they ended up doing instead was keep it more like a grounded type of. Let me get images. Hold on. I think if they were to do like another reboot, they could have done something like this now. Oh, they could now, yes. But back then in the 60s. Hmm. Hold on, let me show you some of the um... <laughs> faculty tea. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What year was this comic made? A uh, couple years ago, but it's based off of a 1968 script. See, this is what they originally went with. Oh, that's very pretty. It's still expensive, but at least it's much more cheaper to do than putting them, you know, doing it in cities where everyone had to wear the makeup and everything. All right, let me show you their their ape costumes. Duh. All right, here's a good one right here. And trust me, these were expensive back then. Okay, have... now we need a comparison. Uh, this looks like, this quality looks like it would be a TV show. Uh, that eventually would be. Oh. That'd All be right. kind of fun to watch if, it, if there was another one being made. Yep, give me a moment. I'm, done, I'm going to also forget you. So just to show you some examples of the apes talking. It's just space balls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shit. There goes the planet. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Come on, where's our good clip? The good clip was inside you all along. Ha 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 the friends you made along the way. <laughs> ah, here we go. Unfortunately, you're only going to be seeing the visuals, not no audio. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, come on. That's, that's about, I hate when it does that where I have to do that because, you know, it'll reset the list.
Oh, it froze. Hello. See what I mean? Now, how for it to actually work that well with their mouth and everything? <laughs> can you just imagine how much that it, how expensive that was back then? Especially with the amount of apes they had. <laughs> but again, just imagine that. But then think back to was what I've been showing you with all this. No way in hell, right? No. But yeah, eventually they're treating him as special as they're explaining about like radioactivity. Doesn't that suggest some sort of nuclear power? Uh, we have several archaeo... Basically, they're trying to figure everything out. Forgive us, but uh, but to use a bomb, as you describe, even once, raises the question, how civilized are you at all? And soon they find, they find his other friend, Dodge, and he runs off, feels all upset, like, no, that's him. How do you want us to get him? I don't want you to get him at all. Mr. Thomas, we've removed your friend to the hospital. He's being well cared for. They stuffed him. They stuffed him like an animal. Your and your dodge will be removed. I'm deeply regretful. Tell me something, Mr. Thomas. Have you museums on Earth and taxidermy and stuffed animals in their native ha habitat? I'm just going to have to learn that I'm the freak. I'm the animal in clothing. I'll have to get accustomed to who's on which side of the cage. I do appreciate that how he kind of comes to this realization fast and not try and stick to saying, this is not right. Because <laughs> when you think about it, when you're the minority, when you're considered the animal, is it really right to be outraged at how they're treating other humans when you did no different on your planet? I mean, I didn't do anything, so I have the right to. <laughs> yeah, you get my point though, right? Yeah, yeah. The apes were and was always in ascendant. Human beings on their on this planet never progress beyond the most primitive existence. So why do you kill and uh, kill men here, Zira? That is not by choice. But they reproduce quickly. They travel in bands and steal food. So once or twice a year, we have what we call a weeding out process. It's what and it's what we do to buffalo on Earth, or did before they became extinct. It's really incredible. The similarities, almost exact, but not quite like a uh, quite like a slightly out of focus fo photograph. Doctor Zero, you're wanting the telephone, ma'am. What is it? I'll be right back. I'll have another, whatever it's called. Excuse me. My wife would like to hear you say something. Oh, would you? I never heard a man speak very well, ladies and gentlemen. I shall speak now. Bow wow. How's that grab you? Uh oh, he passed out drunk. Come on, Mr. Thomas. I think it's now. It's time to wake up now. It's been a very interesting dream, but it's time to wake up. It's not a dream, Th Mr. Thomas. I know, lovely place you got here, but I think I prefer spending a night at the zoo. Good night, Mr. Thomas. There will be no need for you to spend the evening at the zoo. Nova? As of right now, we're no longer a couple of scared animals off our leashes. Here, put this on. And put and put this on and be a human being. He left word they were taking a walk, that we should wait and be comfortable. In the past five weeks, your Mr. Thomas has gone from the floor of a cage to the giver of social teas. And who shall and who shall pour? His mate, Lay of the Jungle? They said they'd be right back. Clearly they've been held up. Something unforeseen and perhaps. A luscious coconut on, on the top of a branch. Maybe our host has to pick the nits from his mate's hair. Dr. Zira, Dr. Zayas, forgive us for being late. Nova, pour the doctor some tea, would you? Dear God, sh sh sugar? It's all right, it's all right. According to your anthropology, it took you 5,000 years to walk upright. She learned to talk in five weeks. Pour him another cup and make allowances for him. His hand and his fingers aren't as agile as ours. Dr. Zayas, I'm so glad you come. They're soon realizing, oh crap, he could teach the other humans. Soon they're doing some investigation and they soon start to oh, find. No. I was so late. <laughs> <laughs> what, where, what, 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 it was what? Oh, no, I was yelling rebel when I was we're trying That's to get rebellion. Of. That's what they're afraid of. They still like, those are the bones of a human, which is interesting. Obviously, you've uncovered the grave of some pet. I might have drawn another inference from it, eh? Have my quarters prepared. 
You've done uh, you've done some good work, Mr. Canarius, but your job is to find, not evaluate. My job is to find and evaluate. And it would appear we've uncovered a human cemetery. They were just pets. The human race has never been civilized, to ha and and it has no culture, no language, no science. I think this place has gone to you, Mr. Cornelius. You've let your imagination glow, grow lurid. And who saw fit to invite the Earth's man? There were several of us, sir. Archaeology is your lane, Mr. Thomas. Remarkable. From the floor of a cage to an archaeologist in a month and a half. Given time, I wonder how far you would go. I wonder how far you'd let me. A few feet from here is the cemetery of a civilized race that you say never got beyond a crawl and a couple of grunts. You've uncovered a question, Doctor, which came first, the chicken or the egg, the ape or the man? Mr. Cornelius, you better take a look at this. Some kind of shaft. It's very deep. What have you found? They show this like, and I'm afraid it's a birthright. Mama. They had a language while we swung from trees. You were quite right, Mr. Thomas. We've uncovered a question. If mankind had a civilization here, what happened to it? And soon they find, like, this isn't a cemetery. They were alive when whatever it was happened. Pro and bomb, probably. Hydrogen bomb. Man preceded you. Then he died. Cause of death, suicide. Sup, 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 sup. Some of us are returning to the city. This gives me an opportunity to say goodbye. You won't be coming back here. You won't be returning to the city. You see, Mr. Thomas, I know all about man. I think his wisdom must walk hand in hand with his idiocy. He must be a belligerent animal who gives battle to everything around him. In the process, he will always destroy himself. No apes have so, uh, and we apes have no such death switch. We expect you to leave. Assuming I get my ship back into the sky, the alternative must be uh, uh, obvious. And they kill the other guy, the other astronaut. No. Then blow up so your expedition is kaput. What expedition? The helicopter will take us back to the side of your ship. If we, can, uh, if we can find it, shall we? Soon enough, those aren't my orders. Mr. Thomas, get down! They're basically all being gunned down and taken out. I had no, I didn't, I had no idea. He's trying to make his way back to his ship. Then Cornelius and Zero comes on, like, Will I need this? No, we've come to help you. Where's Nova? I had her removed yesterday morning. She's left the city. She's gone back to her people. They'll be here soon. We'll have to get away. That won't be possible. This ship isn't going anywhere. I did learn one thing. This ship has been away from Earth for 2,000 years. 20 centuries we slept through them. And to believe, kind friends, that I simply have, I, I've had it. I've simply had it. Come with us. Give yourself a last chance. We'll try to land you close to your people. Close to Nova. Dr. Zira, if it's not too much, I'd like to get and kiss you goodbye. All right, but you're so damn ugly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sup, sup, sup. Mr. Thomas, run! R like, run towards the woods, they're coming! We tried to help him, there will be no denials. You will not be asked for denial. What is to be done now comes with no joy whatsoever. No joy. Mr. Thomas, we've come for you. Mr. Thomas, run! Please, for God's sakes, run! I'm afraid there's no place to run. No place to go. Blam, 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 blam! Why didn't he run? What did he mean, no place to go? What do we know of the habits of Earth's creatures? Oh, he found out he was on Earth all along. Oh. So, what did you think? Oh, this is so fascinating. I love it. Yep. It and... reminded me of the... Like, I don't remember much of the Mark Wahlberg movies, but I remember him, like, um, thinking he's going back home. Yeah, but, but that's, like, that, I mean, that yeah. ending was so dumb. Even um, even um, Tim Burton did it as a chance of, well, if anyone else does a sequel, it's not going to be me. <laughs> it was done as a screw you. Because in the original ending, it was they found a similar thing where Taylor finds a Statue of Liberty, but it's a case where he finds out, like, I'm home all this time. You maniacs! You blew it up! God damn you! Damn you all to hell! And it was one of the biggest twists in movie history. <laughs> I didn't really understand it, <laughs> but now I do. 
Yeah, because he didn't know he was on Earth. And first he thought he was on another planet. Mm -hmm. I would have thought so too, you know. Yeah, you would have thought it was a planet that evolved differently, but no. It was humanity had wiped itself out and then devolved into the ape-like creatures. Uh, and the ape rose up above them. So did they really actually evolve into yeah. the apes? Or was it just propaganda? No, no, no. Propaganda took a notion of we evolved in God's image. They took that notion and belief and to claim hum humans have always been savages. Hmm. Very few people know the truth about humans. That humans were actually once um, a intelligent creatures. That dang orangutan favorite. Oh, character. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Yeah, that's actually not that different from how he was in the book. I mean, in the movie. But in the movie, he's more portrayed as a um, religious type of guy. Mm -hmm. And in the uh, the Matt Reeves movie, he he's known as like a uh, strategist. No, Zayas was never in those. That you're that's that was um Caesar. Who played the orangutan? Who was the oh, orangutan? The, oh that, Mar that was Marcus. Marcus. I but, Marcus. Uh, here's the quote though. Here's the quote from it from the movie: "Beware the beast man, for he is the devil's pawn. Alone among God's primates, he kills for sport, or lust, or greed." Yea, he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land. Let him not breed in great numbers, for he will make the desert of his home and yours. Shun him. Drive him back into his jungle lair, for he is the harbinger of death. That's one of the lawgiver, their great, you know, person who set a lot of laws for man and for the apes. That was one of his views on, um, uh, uh, of man. Hmm. Oh, there's another great line on. I'm trying to find the other quote. Um, oh, here it is. You are right. I have always known about man. From the evidence, I believe his wisdom must walk hand in hand with that yeah, same bit with his idiocy. His emotions must rule his brain. He must be a warlike creature who gives battle to everything around him, even himself. Great line, it wouldn't you say? I feel like a lot of the older movies did. <laughs> but yeah, so what? And so makes you want to see the original movie so you can compare it, right? Yes, of they course. This, it's all free. Uh, the first five movies are all free on YouTube. Nice. In fact, I'll, I'll get it right now to send it to you. Thank you. All right. Planet of the Apes, 1968. <laughs> Planet of the Apes, 1968. <laughs> and there you go. And I can send you the other one for the other movies, too. And hey, maybe you and I could do a video talking about it. You can do an at the movies with me. Yeah, sure. All right, so I'll send you the others, and we can make this a at the movies with... Um, Robert and Bianca. <laughs> all right. We'll see you all in the next one, guys. Take care. Bye.